Hello, fourth grade distance learners. Um, just to make sure that you're up to speed with what we're doing in the classroom, I thought we'd create this video today. So um, our big idea, our goal is to be able to properly bow D and A on the violin and also play it on recorders. So recorders at home, if you need to review the video that I made on the D major scale, that will cover those two notes and a whole lot more. Um, just for review though, D is played by uh, playing hole number one, two, three, four, five, six. That's low D. And then A is hole number one and two. Both include the thumb hole. So on the violin, our second to largest string is the D string. And our second to smallest string is the A string. So all we're going to do right now is just practice playing those two strings, those two open strings. And some reminders, we want to have everybody please put your feet flat on the floor and scooch forward to the front one third of your chair. From there, we need to put our chin, put our jaw along in the chin rest and bring our instrument to about what I call 10 o'clock. Okay, not down here, not over here or pointing up or pointing down. Parallel, parallel to the ground, okay, and then at about 10 o'clock, so it should look when I'm sitting up nice and tall, it should look like this. Okay, then, I gotta get close to the mic, otherwise I don't know if you'll hear me. Then, we wanna make sure our bow grip is proper. This is our bow grip. We've got our pinky on the screw, index finger here, and then thumb on the bottom of the frog. You can also put your thumb in the crook, right there. And then you just drape these two fingers over the top. Okay, everybody do that. Show me your grips, guys. Excellent, excellent. Then. Lay your bow on the D string. Lay your bow on the D string and we're gonna bow away from our bodies. We want to put our bow kind of like at the bottom of the fingerboard right here and it should create a box. A box that looks something like this. Okay. So I'll play it first and then I'll ask everybody else to play the D. It should sound like this. Whoop, here's our, our, our A. This is our D. Can I get everybody to try that, please? One and two and D, here we go. Keep going. Again. Very good, very good. Okay, another reminder. Please, again, put two feet flat on the floor. All right. And then, Johnny, your left hand, raise it higher. I noticed when I turned around that your instrument was kind of pointing towards the ground. You want it parallel to the ground. Okay, so that was the note D. Now we're gonna try the note A. A should sound like this. Try the note A, please. One, two, and three, and four. Now go back to D. Go back to A, here we go. Back to D. Okay, good. Now, your assignment at home is to take a look at pages four and five in your Essential Elements book, which is, of course, this, and you should have Purchase this on Amazon. If you haven't, please do so, because I'll, um, I'll be making assignments out of this lovely book. So on pages four and five, you are simply trying to read the notes D and A, back and forth and back and forth. Now the trick is to not look at your left hand on your violin, or your right hand for that matter, but instead keep your eyeballs glued to the page so you can know what's coming up with the music. So that's the skill that we're trying to, to, to wrap our brains around. Okay, lots of moving parts in this um, bowing exercise. It's almost like a golf swing. You know, when you think about all the little muscle memory things that have to happen, um, it'll happen, but you just need to practice really slow. Okay, let's try it one more time, boys and girls. I'll call out the pitches. This is me. Nice, <laughs> nice and tall. Two feet flat on the floor. And if you need to, again, scooch all the way forward on your chair. Okay, Gavin, lower your left hand a little bit. Your left hand, lower it. Your, no, like this. Make your instrument parallel to the ground. This looks good. That looks good. Okay, That's good. Here we go. D, one, two, 
Ready, and D. D. Up to A, here we go, A. Back to D. Up to A. Back to D. A. D. A. D. A. D. A. D. D. A. D. A. And D. Okay, and stop. So you need to lower your wrists when you want to uh, play the A string. When you lower your wrist, keep it loose. Remember that you're moving from your elbow like this, not your shoulder. <laughs> okay, so that's just a couple of reminders. All right, fourth grade, what do you think? Is that good enough? Yeah. Yeah, I think you got it a little bit. We'll keep working on it. Goes. All right, everybody say hello and goodbye.